The plan by the federal government to share the $322 million, which is approximately about 115 billion naira loot, recovered from the late military leader Sonny Abata among poor Nigerians, is still generating controversy, with many asking the obvious question, how will government reach those classified poor? That question probably did not get the attention of many Nigerians until lawmakers in the House of Representatives raised their concerns on the matter. We should also be able to establish how was such money utilized. They obviously have an axe to grind with the federal government. They are insisting that the money cannot be spent without the approval of the National Assembly. They are also questioning the motive behind the decision and are wondering how the government plans to determine which families are the poorest. They also want the federal government to disclose how much in total of the Abata loot has been recovered, amongst others. We can utilize the federal government's share of this fund to complete a Jakuta C complex. This will create a lot of boost in our economy. And it's going to create a lot of job for the people. They probably have spoken the minds of Nigerians since they represent the majority. And that includes those classified as poor and vulnerable. This guy Three hundred and two thousand households are expected to get five thousand naira each from the one hundred and fifteen billion naira loot, and analysts say this is just about one percent of the actual repatriated fund. And then another question comes knocking: What happens to the remaining fund? A senior special advisor to the vice president, Chumoke Oduwale, explains that the scheme is not new to developed countries, but Nigeria's case is peculiar. So we have to give some attention to the very poor. The fact that you and I can read and write, everyone that can read and write in this country is actually part of the elite. And we actually have a responsibility to take care of those that are very, very poor within our midst. And that's what this intervention is aimed at. Now. The buck lies with the federal government to decide if the questions asked by the lawmakers and indeed Nigerians will be answered before it starts disbursing the monies under its conditional cash transfer program. Perhaps we ask again, how best should government spend the recovered loot?